Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, long time no see. I literally haven't posted a video on, I think in about like three months or something like that. I've literally been saving so much for this holiday that I've at one point I had three jobs and I had no time to upload any videos or even film anything at all. Like I was thinking about doing a few vlogs before this video but I just never got around to it because right now I have two jobs and one is in the morning and then one is at night so I don't really have time to be like filming and then posting and editing and all that kind of stuff. It's like you kind of need one job to do you know this and my regular job so obviously I'm gonna you know vlog the whole um vacation but I thought what better video buffer than to do a pack with me kind of video style thing you know what first of all I'm gonna show you the cases that I'm gonna be bringing so I'm going to Orlando and the last packing video that I did was for interrailing and obviously that was a little bit more restrictive on what I could bring whereas Orlando I can bring whatever I want because I have my big suitcase it's just like a big white um, suitcase that has it written on the front and it's just a big general suitcase that has nothing fancy a carry-on suitcase as well which is just this one here which actually isn't mine I should probably give it back I'm gonna kind of... ah! oh my god my, one of my diffuser things just popped off, off my lamp and it scared the crap out of me. I think I'm just going to go through my little cubes first. So I actually, if you didn't watch my interrailing vlog, or what? My interrailing um, packing video, I'll link it on the eye. I think it's in this corner. I got these like packing cubes on Amazon and so did my friend Rachel. And they're a lifesaver. Oh my god, they're just so easy to use and pack and like easier to have it all in kind of one place. So I thought I'd kind of show you kind of like a mini haul of what things I've got. Because pretty much everything that I'm bringing with me on this trip is brand new. So the first dress that I'm bringing is like, I bought this two years, no, I bought it like last year and I never wore it. And it's the most amazing dress ever and I love it. And it's from Penny's. It looks like a granny's like nighty but it's actually really pretty on i thought this would be so nice for like a day look or even like for a nice casual dinner it's just really really light then i have this t-shirt dress that dill actually picked out and he thought it would be nice on me so i tried it on i actually do really like it and it's kind of just like a new york one it's black and white then i bought this dress and it's so nice <sighs> this dress is just gorgeous oh it's like a red polka dot wrap dress but it has like these little three buttons at the side and it like cinches you in at the waist and it makes you look like you have an, such a nice figure and it was so cheap and I got this in Bershka and it's just so fab I love it then I have a play suit this play suit I wore um a, a good few times actually in Tenerife and I wore this in, Gr no I didn't wear this in Greece, but uh, Rachel got me this for my birthday one year and I'm obsessed with it. It has like a chain running down the back. Um, I have a few pictures posted on Instagram of that. And then I have onto like skirts and shorts now. I have this like really cool like snake print skirt like this will look so nice with one of the shirts that i'll show you later but i got it because that was on the misguided website and i just fell in love with it so i got that that's probably just for a night then i got this really nice polka dot skirt i'm really into polka dot as you'll see throughout the video but like it's just really light and flowy and i'll probably wear like black little shorts um like they're just kind of like waist holding shorts but they're short so i could put them under anything that like is too short what then i got these shorts but they look like a skirt because they're just like so flowy and this on is just so nice oh my god i'm obsessed with it and the like little bow in the front is really really pretty i have a few tops to like go with this as well it's just so gorgeous i love it and then i'm bringing two pairs of jeans no i'm not i'm bringing I'm bringing two pairs of jeans, one's in the wash, I'm bringing a, a white pair of jeans and a black pair of jeans just in case it's cold or whatever. I hardly, I highly doubt Orlando's going to be pretty cold, but just in case. I might even just bring one, I might just bring my black ones, but anyway. And then I have this other skirt that I brought into railing as well. This was just, oh I love this skirt, it's just, it's so handy, it can be used like for everything, you could dress it up, dress it down whatever I could wear like little black shirt or shorts under this so it's not like too revealing 
Then I have a black pair of shorts, which is just like a generic pair of black shorts. Then I have a high-waisted pair of white shorts, which again is just generic, goes with everything. Then I have these shorts, which is just like your denim distressed shorts that I can like to write top and stuff. So yeah, I'm bringing them. Okay, and then onto the next cube. This is more of the square cube. And this is where all my tops, bralettes and shirts are going. I have maybe like one or two shirts in here. I bought this headscarf from Pennies and it's just so, so nice. I have like the perfect outfit in my head of how I'm gonna wear this and how I'm gonna style it. And this is only like three year old Pennies, but oh my God, it's so nice. Then, for the shirts, first, oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna unwrinkle it or de-wrinkle it or iron it or whatever, but I have like this white satin shirt. It looks really weird not on, but once it's on, I have like a whole outfit planned around this. Um, this shirt, I have like tops that I wanna put under, uh, kind of like bralettes and stuff like that. So I have that shirt. Then I have this other denim shirt that I got in Topshop. Um, this is just kind of like, um, you know, if it's a bit chilly or something like that. Kind of like a jumper, but not really. It's like, it's light enough where if it's a little bit chilly in um, Orlando, you can get away with it. And then, and it goes literally with everything. So, yeah, got that. Then, um, I've shown this in a haul before, but this is just like a polka dot kind of wraparound top. Then I got this in Topshop. This top is so nice. I've actually worn this before. And this is just like a polka dot kind of cami top. This would be so nice with black or white jeans, black or white shorts, uh, even denim shorts. That'd be so nice. Then I have two, um, what are these called? Um, bralettes. Of these two bralettes, I've got one in white and one in black. This kind of dressy bandeau kind of top. I've worn this before and I got this. You've seen this in a haul before. Then I have, this is a bit risky, so I don't know why, I don't know if, I don't know. But this is like, you know, the kind of lace bodysuit that like was on trend for ages. And I was going to return it because I tried it on and I just don't have the cleavage for it. But I was thinking maybe this underneath the satin um, blouse with um, my black jeans would be so nice. Just for like, kind of like a dinner look. I have like an outfit kind of in my head of how I would want to style it and then like the shoes and stuff but I wouldn't wear this without a top underneath or over and then next I have this top you've seen it in a haul I'll link the haul somewhere up here but then I also have this black kind of cami top I wore I brought this in training as well then I have just like this black um crop top it's just like a, a normal crop top and I have the same thing in white brought this in training as well then I have this yellow velvet top that I'm absolutely obsessed with and this pretty much goes with everything and it looks so nice with the tan. So I'm definitely bringing that. And then I'm bringing this yellow top as well. It's pretty much the same as the other one except this one's a bit longer, it's not as cropped. And it just has like very light ruffles around the side. It's just, I really like that. Then I have this kind of tie up t-shirt thing that would be so nice with like a bralette underneath or even like over a bikini that would be really nice um but yeah it's just kind of ties at the front and it's so nice with like those um kind of shorts that I showed you at the last with the little bow at the front that would be so nice with that and then I finally have this red top this would be so nice with the headband I think and like white shorts or something like that that'd be so nice um I thought, yeah, I like that. And I actually got that in pennies for like six euro. It's so nice. And then I just have like my sleep um, basketball shirt that I usually bring sleeping in, you know, to sleep in. Okay, and then in the next kind of cube I have is just like my underwear, socks and knickers. I'm not going to show you them. And then in the next cube I have all my swimwear and bikinis and my cover-ups. This is ridiculous. I have way too many and I know I have way too many and yet I still bought more. So first of all, I have like this kind of uh, sarong. It's like a leopard print sarong I got in pennies for four euro. So I got like this white um, bikini. I, It's just like one of these kind of bikinis. It's from Zaffle, but I actually got it on Depop. And I got this for like five euro or something like that on Depop. And it's so nice on. It looks really nice with the tan, obviously. Then I got this next bikini and it is a yellow bikini. It's so, so nice. I just love the way there's two straps at the back. And then the bikini bottoms are like this. They're not cheek, they're cheeky, but they're not too cheeky. 
Then I have this other one. This is like a velvet um, maroon coloured bikini. I'm obsessed with this. This is so nice. It looks so nice on. Except the bikini bottoms are way too cheeky. It's like wearing a thong. So probably I'm not going to bring this. Actually, I don't know why it's even in my bag. Anyway, so I like this. And then I have like a pair of black bottoms and white bottoms to go with both. Then for tanning in, even though we're probably not going to be tanning, um, I have this kind of black bandeau kind of situation going on here. I got this in pennies for like two euro. Then I have the matching bottoms, which are my favorite bottoms. They're just black, they're not cheeky at all. Now I have another bikini. I don't know why I have another bikini. Um, This one's amazing though. I love this one. I wore this all the time in Greece. This has like a crisscross kind of back and it's just so nice. It looks really nice on. Then the matching bottoms, they're not cheeky at all. They're just like full coverage. Then I have this other bikini. <sighs> Where am I going? How long am I going for? I have this other bikini, which is just so nice. I love this bikini. I could also wear this bikini tanning as well because these straps come off. So it's just like a bandeau as well. Then I have the bottoms and they're not cheeky at all. This looks really weird, but it's like, you know, you can tie them and it's so nice. And then I have the white pair of bottoms and these aren't cheeky at all. And then I have this one piece I've had for like three years and I never wore it's just like this really nice one from River Island and it, it's so nice on and you could take the straps off and on and you can like multi strap them whatever way you want so next I'm going to show you all the shoes that I'm bringing and first of all I'm just going to bring my new pair of black vans I got these the other day and they're just so nice and they're so comfortable so I could see myself wearing these around the park the whole time that I'm there and it go and these go with pretty much every single thing that I have in my bag, even the, some of the dresses. So they're like a staple in my bag. Then I have these kind of like really nice um, heels. These are so comfortable as well. I wore these all the time last year in Tenerife. They're a bit worn, but they're just so nice and I love them so much and they're so comfortable because they've got like a block heel and they're not like hard to walk in at all. Then I have these other um, sandal -y kind of heeled but they're not like two heeled um sandals I wore um into railing and they're just so comfortable I love these they're a bit dirty though so I have to wash them then I have these fancier heels um they're just like black with like a white block and a white heel these are so comfortable again because they're not like too high in their platform and they'll go with pretty much everything as well and then for sandals, I'm bringing my sliders again. These are the most comfortable things I've ever put on my feet ever in my whole life. They are just amazing. I was even thinking about buying a new pair because they are a bit dirty, but I'll probably just put them in the wash and they'll be grand. They're so comfortable. So like, uh, I wear them all the time, even at home. These are like my house shoes. So I love them. To like my toiletries, I put them into like this kind of hanging up bag kind of situation thing. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit. So first of all, that's in my bag is this little lifesaver. The best thing I ever brought in trailing. This thing has everything you could think of from like a mini a nail file which I always catch my nail in something and I always have like a little break in my nail that I have to like file because it get, it just catches to everything so this is brilliant then it has like panty liners you know it has like little cotton pads little like earbuds another little uh, nail file it has like a mirror it has a bobbin has uh, an eye mask for sleeping it has earbuds it has like makeup remover wipes deodorant wipes Anything you could think of, it has it in this little thing. So I like to bring this in my carry-on case rather than my actual check-in bag. So that's a lifesaver. Then I have like my watch, like my jewelry. This is like the best little container I ever got. This is a, a little kind of, um, what, like a face cream container that I got from Boots. And it also came with like a little squeezy tube, I'll show you later. But um, I put all my like earrings and because my hoops actually fit in there, which is the most satisfying thing in the whole world. But I have like my layered necklaces, a choker, and like other necklaces in this. And it's like really tight, compact. So I think my things are gonna get tangled anyway. So I don't really care about that. But like 
it's just really convenient to have and I could put it in like this little bag and I have like all my jewellery stuff with me in one little area like so and then next I have cotton pads you know for makeup removing needs and all that kind of stuff then I have the silicone petal nipple cover things these are the best things ever then I've got a hairbrush I've got bobbins I bought these ones they didn't have all the back ones but it's grand that I've got deodorant I've got body spray I have my makeup remover I have hand sanitizer maybe I should not bring this I don't know Um, I always bring the nail polish that I'm using I have a different nail polish on now but I'm going to be using this while I'm away I have it on my toes as well so I'm going to I bring it that then I have like a mini hand cream I found a hand cream that actually works on my hands like I haven't used it in a while but my hands whenever I use this get like so much better and it's like a high concentrated hand cream so this little tub will, will last me so long so I'm bringing that for sure then I have like a little lip balm because like on the plane your lips are going to get so dry I have two razors and I have a hair or what you call it I have a heat protecting glove for my hair tools which I'll show you in a bit and then I have some fashion tape you know for like my play suits any dresses that kind of slip here and there and then I have my contraception here and then this should actually be in my makeup bag yeah and that's pretty much all that I have in that bag and for my makeup bag this is like oh, this is way too big I feel because I want to buy loads of makeup when I'm over there like in Sephora and that but anyway I bring in this big bag and in the big bag I have a smaller bag and this is like a pencil case but I put all my brushes in here that I need and it's actually not that much compared to how many brushes I have on my desk but I have all that and like my eyeshadow palette so I'm bringing my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette this is like my favourite palette I was thinking about bringing my um In The Bloom palette but I'm I'm buying palettes over there like a uh, makeup palette so just one that I use all the time even for going out I'm going to bring this one then I have like foundation I have my concealer all that kind of stuff I'll probably have it all listed down below if you're curious and what I'm bringing and then this is probably the coolest thing that I'm bringing this I don't know why I haven't seen this before but this is like the real techniques complexion sponge but it's like a like a, a case for it this thing is like the coolest thing and I don't know where I've been I have like loads of sun care products I have like after sun you know I've got like all that kind of stuff that I'm bringing with me you know waterproof stuff tanning stuff and face stuff so me and dill actually went into um the gadget store in dundrum it's the, like the be cool gadget uh, shop and we saw these rechargeable fans that have like a water sprayer in it so like you can recharge it and it's just like it's so good then i also bring i'm also going to bring two um types of like hot tools i'm bringing my hair straightener Ooh, which is unraveling so I'm bringing my hair straightener and then my hair curler and then I have my heat protecting glove in the bag. Then I'm also bringing my Polaroid camera which I'm taking every trip that I go on. I need to get new Instax film things but and I'm also bringing my camera as well and my iPad because it's a long flight. I need something to keep me busy. Like my little, well actually this is Rachel's little pouch of um, like little what are they called like charging cubes so she has like these ones and like the little ones that you get with your iphone she's american so she has loads of these plugs so she gave me a lend of them and then i just have like my um camera charger the fan charger i've got headphones i've got my actual phone charger my ipad charger and all that kind of good stuff and i just kind of have it in her little pouch that she gave me and then I also have like my shampoo and body wash and eye makeup remover. I don't know why this isn't in my toiletries bag. But this is the little set that I came or that um, I got in boots. An umbrella just in case it rains while we're out. Then I also have like a dressy little bag, you know, to wear to dinner or whatever. Then I also have a belt for my um, shorts and jeans that I got in River Island that I'm obsessed with. And I could wear this as the belt for my t-shirt dress. Then the bag that I'm bringing on the plane with me and like carrying around is this River Island bag. This is just the nicest bag ever. And I got it for 18 euro. I think it was on clearance because it was like 
the only bag on the rack but it didn't even have a tag and I asked her how much it was and it was 18 quid so I'm assuming that it was reduced from whatever price but then in my magical bag of wonders I have my furry purse that I got in River Island and it has just like my money and my um currency card in that oh my god it's just so soft I got this for 13 euro and it's just the most amazing thing ever oh my god and then I also have a headphone splitter because I'm going to be downloading loads of movies and I'm sure Dale will, be wa uh, will want to watch with me. Um, a pack of playing cards. We always bring a, pa a pack of them. Oh, that reminds me. My Sudoku book. My folder of documents, tickets, park tickets, my two passports. But I have all my photocopies of every single document that I have, every voucher that I have, everything I need. I also have a pen and um, passports. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have and all I'm gonna do now is just put it into my suitcase. so that is literally all I'm bringing with me to Orlando I'm almost 1000% sure I forgot something yeah look out for the vlogs maybe uh they'll probably be up in the next week or two to be honest um because when I come back I'll be going straight into work but I'll try my hardest I'll probably just condense it into maybe one or two videos but um I am so excited I can't wait and I will see you in my next video bye, bye.